Hi everyone. All right, this one's gonna be short. I wanna talk about anxiety in the past and anxiety in the present. Anxiety in the past for me was very overwhelming. I would feel like I was drowning, um, like I couldn't come up for air. That is my bird, sorry, ignore him. Uh, and you would sometimes feel like your heart is beating out of your chest or like you couldn't catch your breath, like you were being held underwater and you can't calm yourself. It's very overwhelming and very powerful and a very negative feeling. What I used to do in the past is I used to binge eat to try to calm myself and soothe myself. Um, years later, um, I have found, had some wonderful uh, therapists that I talked to to get my head screwed on right. And it is, my head is screwed on right. But there are days where I feel very overwhelmed. Um, normal, life is hard. Life is very hard. Um, most of the time I can cope with it, but I found talking to my provider today and finalizing some things before surgery and still waiting for the insurance approval, which is stressful. Um, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. I'm feeling like I don't want to say I'm spiraling out of control, but I feel like I'm on the verge of losing my marbles. Um, and that's normal, right? Because I'm getting ready to have a procedure. But here's the good news is I've done so much work on myself, working on my thought process and why am I really doing this? Who am I doing this for? I'm at a stage where I don't even want to sabotage it. I don't even want to sabotage it. I, I was so good at sabotaging myself. Um, it's like they say sometimes people, when they're in a relationship, they sabotage it because, you know, it's too good to be true. Well, I'm in a relationship with myself, getting to know me and I'm liking the new person I'm becoming. I'm feeling more alive and even though I'm having a bad day, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Um, even though I'm having a bad day, but not a fully bad day, just stress induced. Um, I can't win today. Everything is distracting me. My dogs, my bird, my child, my life. Um, I'm not wanting to binge eat anymore. I don't want to. So I could have had a big dinner and I didn't. I had a protein shake, called it a day. Now I'm drinking my lemon water, which isn't terrible. Um, and, um, I'm coping. I'm coping. I do have a prescription. Um, I could take something, but I think I can work, calm myself. I'm going to do a little meditation and just try to get myself to psychologically calm down. Um, and I know I'm on the verge of an anxiety attack or in the process of one coming on because I'm so distracted, so distracted, can't focus. Um, and that's usually when I can't focus, that's the beginning. So I know the, the signs, um, but I don't want to binge eat, And that's a good thing. Excuse me. No, you don't need, you don't need that. Um, And I've realized that I want this that bad, that bad. I'm not willing to deviate from my course. 
another thing, excuse me, it's, I'm starting to get towards the end of my day and I'm, uh, sleep monster is kicking in. Um, I'm also noticing that I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Coming to the end of my day, anxiety. Oh, what's also triggering my anxiety is I haven't heard from my insurance company. And that's stressful, you know? So uh, the girl at my doctor's office who does like the accounting and the insurance and the billing and all of that. She says to me, I was talking to her and she said a couple of things that kind of triggered my anxiety. Um, one of which she said is no news is good news. So surgery is on for the sixth. And she says, she'll only, I should only hear from her if there's really something negative but she said as soon as she hears either way she's gonna call me to let me know um if i'm approved or not so she said usually the insurance companies will notify the providers before they post it on the patient portal the second thing she said to me that really triggered my anxiety bad anesthesiologist so they do a nerve block now i have a little bit of PTS, um, and I can say it's PTS because it triggers a negative response, right? Um, my negative response is fight, flight, or cry. I started crying um, when I was talking to her. And I'm being honest right now because um, I can't help you guys that are watching this considering this procedure if I don't be truthful about, get out of here. Get, getting into trouble, get out, get out. Sorry, my bird biting a phone case that he shouldn't be doing. Um, so, again, distractions, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, it's PTS. So when I gave birth to my son, um, the anesthesiologist tried giving me an epidural. I had to have an emergency C-section and they could not get the epidural to go into my spine. They hit me six times. And it was painful. They kept hitting bone. Um, then they aborted that and went to a spinal block. By the third effort of hitting me again, they, got, they finally got the spinal block to go in. And I was hurting from that. My back was brutalized. And uh, also I do have a fear of needles, I'm not gonna lie. It's my arms, you know, when you have to uh, get blood drawn. I'm okay with that, but it's taken me 30 years to get okay with that. Um, so, she was telling me that they're gonna do a nerve block. That usually happens in the spine, right? So I said to her, I said, my anxiety, I am afraid. And I said, I'm not afraid of having the procedure, but I'm afraid of being hit. I said, it's, it's triggering that negative response. And she saw my eyes welling up with tears because she saw it was, it was, my anxiety and my fear and my PTSD from after having my son and it, it, it was a nightmare. Um, and she talked to me and she, she got me to settle, but she could see I was, that wound me up. And I'm terrified of that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so she explained that they can do the nerve block without going into the spine, they can go into the nerve directly. That's fine. Still a needle going into my back, right? Um, so it is what it is. Um, did it make me want to binge eat though? Because my anxiety is through the roof? No. Oddly, 
right? That's a new behavior. And that's a good behavior. Um, so I figured, let me talk to you. And let me tell you about what I'm feeling, what's going on. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not scared of the procedure. I'm not scared of the after effects. Sometimes you can have uh, soreness. Sometimes uh, you can have um, like as some acid reflux. Um, everyone is different. Everybody's body responds differently. And, you know, I mean, I'm doing everything that I can to give the provider the best, uh, for lack of better words, canvas to work with. Um, and trying to make sure that everything, the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and uh, I have everything done the way it's supposed to be done for um, optimal results. Um, how my body responds is how it responds, and that's okay. It is what it is, I'm okay. I'm accepting those responsibilities. Um, what else? Um, but I'm still scared. I think I'm more afraid of the anesthesiologist than I am of anybody else. I thought they were just going to put me out and that was it. I didn't know that they were going to be doing a spinal block. I didn't know. I did not know. Um, but that's to help with the recovery. And I get that. I get it. <sighs> what else? Yeah. So this one's a little bit long and I'm sorry. But I felt like I had to talk to everyone and say, hey. I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. Um, so that's it. Anxiety. Still waiting on, still waiting on insurance one and two. Uh, scared of the anesthesiologist, but he's very confident in his team, and I told them, you know, whoever's going to be handling me, if you will, they have a big male nurse who assists the anesthesiologist during the blocks so he's big and strong i told them to tell him be prepared for his the his shoulder to be filled with tears and boogers because i'm probably going to be crying and hyperventilating because i am a chicken i said it before in the other uh vlog i'm a chicken but now i'm like holy crap yeah, it's getting very real. And also, I've never really had a major major surgery. I've had vascular sur surgery and I've had a C-section. I've never really had a surgery um, just voluntarily. Um, I had the vascular surgery because I was starting to have some problems with the vein in my leg. Um, but that's more surface, uh, surface surface where they inject you and knock you out so i wasn't awake for it but this they're gonna do the spinal block and this is bringing up some negative memories of child rearing days anyway so i'm just telling you the truth i am nervous i am babbling <laughs> i'm very distracted um i'm all over the place because it's my anxiety and it's triggered big time. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. I am gonna finish my lemon water tea. It's not tea, it's just lemon water, um, but it's like a tea. And hopefully I can oh, excuse me, calm myself down so I can get a decent night's rest so I can get through my day of work tomorrow and go from there. So, again, everyone, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me through this. I hope that you all understand everyone reacts differently. Everyone's um, journey is going to be different. Um, but these are scenarios that are real life. And I'm sharing them with you because when it helps me, 
to talk to you and to <laughs> talk it out. Um, and I'm bird popping his head up like peekaboo. Um, so my talking to you helps me stay grounded and keeps me settled. Um, so I thank you. I thank you. Um, I'm trying to be as transparent and honest and real. I'm normally very cool, calm, collected. At the moment, I'm not. I'm covering it up, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not. I'm, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do some meditation, listen to some Native American music, and hopefully the drum beats will get me into a trance-like state to get me calm and uh, I'll be able to put myself to sleep. That's it. Thank you again so much for to all of you for watching and for listening. I appreciate all of you. Um, I'll probably post another vlog up tomorrow or maybe the next day after I get through the weekend because, and then I have crunch time to get a lot of stuff done. All right. Pollo says good night. Good night, Pollo. I'm saying good night. Thank you. Peace. Take care.